Alec Baldwin is charged with manslaughter? But should he be? Yeah. Talk whack to me. Talk whack to me. Yeah. Talk whack to me. Talk whack to me. What's up, Wacky? So you know we got to get into this. Okay, now Alec Baldwin has officially been charged for the death of the cinematographer on the film Rust that he did. He pulled the trigger on a gun that he thought was either a prop gun or was not loaded with a weapon. Turns out it was a real gun and it did have a bullet in it that shot and killed the, the, the lady. It also injured another person on the set. So it had kind of been up in the air what was going to happen to him. There had been investigations into this. And I guess based off of the finding of those investigations, they have decided to charge Alec to charge Alec Baldwin. They're also charging the person who was supposed to handle the weapons. And I think even the director pled guilty or somebody pled guilty to negligence or something like that because the weapon was not checked. Now. Ah, uh, what do I think about this? Let's see. Before we get into that, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I'm dropping new videos on this channel. Now, that being said, let's get back into it. I don't think that Alec Baldwin should be held responsible. I think that the, the guy who was in charge of handling the weapon should be held responsible. I think that the director who, who said that it was a cold gun, meaning that it was there were no bullets in it and it was fine to mess with i think they should be held more responsible i think what i've always thought is that alec Baldwin was an actor and he shouldn't be the person you look to to check the weapons now i had heard a lot of actors want to throw him under the bus i always check my weapons like this is a guy's life stop trying to play the moral high ground i'm pretty sure a lot of these actors have been in similar situations where they have not checked the weapons Okay, but of course, since Alec Baldwin was the guy, Alec Baldwin was the guy who did it. Everybody's got to go at him and be like, "Oh, how could you not know? How could you not know? You stupid!" Listen, I know what that is. Everybody knows the right thing to do when they weren't the one who did the wrong thing. You know what I'm saying? Everybody has the right answer after the wrong answer has been shown. So I got you. Whatever. Point is, I don't think that Alec Baldwin should be held responsible for this. Yes, this was a terrible. Tragedy. Yes, he was the person that pulled the trigger, even though he's denying that he pulled the trigger. I don't believe that. I do believe he pulled the trigger accidentally or whatever it was. I do not think that he intended to even playfully shoot at the person. I think he was just messing with the gun. It went off. A big surprise to him. He had been told that it was a cold gun, that it was okay to handle. Clearly, that was wrong by the expert and by the director of the film. The two leading people, the person in charge of the weapons and the person that's in charge of the whole set, both made him believe that everything was off, uh, that everything was fine. Now, if Alec Baldwin was supposed to handle the weapon or or check the weapon, I think that's more of a civil court case thing that the 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 person that got injured and the person that passed away's family can probably take him to court for that, and I wouldn't be opposed to that per se. But to throw him in prison. And of course, let's let's talk about this. The maximum amount of time that he could potentially get is 18 months and a five thousand dollar fine. So even if he is found guilty of that crime, I mean, he'll be OK. 18 months, he's not going to serve that full time. And five thousand dollars is chump change to Alec Baldwin. He's got a lot of money, but I'm more so tripping off of the person who's not Alec Baldwin. You know, what if that had been like a stagehand or somebody who had that and it went off? And they were charged with that. They don't got that kind of money. They don't They don't want to be locked up. They don't have the type of lawyers to get them a good deal. You know, Alec Baldwin's lawyers already said, we're fighting this and we're going to win. And he, got, you know, he's got a good team behind him. But a guy who's, everybody working a movie set isn't rich. And when you're handling these weapons and you're trusting the expert to tell you, this is fine, this isn't fine. And you have your director saying, cold gun. I mean, what are you expecting? This is not, you know, Alec Baldwin was not a guy who is a weapons expert, his position is not to be to, to, to care on the well-being or to care for the management of any weapons. He's the actor. He gets up and he repeats his lines in a believable way. That's his job. That's his role. And to put more onto an actor than that is ridiculous. Whoever has decided that that person needs to check it lost their mind. I don't I don't I think you can say he shouldn't hold it until it's been checked. That's fine. And I get that. But to be like the actor needs to check it too. Well, how do you know the actor even knows what the heck he doing? Open it up, looking at nothing in you know, no no bullets. 
Might be one in the chamber. You never know. So to just believe an actor supposed to know that. I mean, I guess no, because I guess you do. The, the actors do have to take classes and, and, and go through training how to handle a weapon, I guess. So, so I can see that. But I still even with that, I like reckless, you know, it was like unintentionally that you murdered somebody. This is manslaughter. But it was like, I guess, reckless behavior that caused you to unintentionally kill somebody. And I just don't see the reckless behavior in that. It's like somebody said, if you're a drunk driver and you accidentally kill somebody, that's manslaughter. And I would be more in agreement with that because you purposely chose to get in the car knowing what alcohol does to you. It impairs your, you know, your ability to operate a vehicle. So if you do hit somebody and you do kill them, I get that more than, hey, this gun is not loaded. You're on the set. Everybody's saying the gun's not loaded. Your character is, you know, going to have a gun. You might use it to be rehearsing your scene or something and bang, it goes off and you're the actor. I just don't put that together. So in my opinion, my humble opinion for whatever it's worth, I, I, don't, I don't know if, if that's fair to charge him with that. Now, I'd say fair. It's not fair that a family that lost their loved one, that they're gone. And I agree with that. And I think they are more of a victim in this, in the person that lost their life and the person that was injured as well, the more of a victim in this than Alec Baldwin. And by no means am I trying to say poor him and forget all the rest of them. Not at all. I definitely want them to get their justice for what happened. I definitely think that there are people who are responsible who will face justice for that. They've already got a guilty plea for one of them. So I, I'm with that. I'm 100% with that. I just, this is more so bigger than Alec Baldwin. This is how we justify manslaughter in a situation like this. And I just don't think that in this situation, Alec Baldwin should be charged. I think it was a terrible accident, but I think it was an accident that was not done by his hands, but by the people around him that he chose to trust, that all of them chose to trust with the handling of this weapon. So again, if you ask me, Hey, not guilty to Alec Baldwin, but I don't got the best track record with that guilty, not guilty stuff. So you never know what's going to happen. Uh, we'll see. And I'm going to report on it when it comes out. Yeah. Talk whack to me. Talk whack to me. Yeah. Talk whack to me. Talk whack to me.